Hi guys, I'm sure you're pretty familiar with copying color grades in between clips in the same projects. For example, if you want to copy these grades uh, to this clip maybe, you just hover your mouse over the original clip and then just press down the middle mouse button or the scroll wheel and you, as you can see you just copy over the, the nodes that you've done. Or if you don't have a middle mouse button, you can just right click and go to apply grade and it will also copy over the color grades you've done. But today we'll be looking at maybe a couple ways of how to copy these grades uh, to another another project or different projects. The first method is just to save it as like a preset so you can use it in the future in any projects with any clips. So let's say if you go to the gallery and go to the power grade folder, you can see it. I've already kind of saved a few power grades or presets uh, beforehand. So if I, let's say, want to apply this grade to this clip, I'll just right click on it and go to apply grade and I'll just copy over the basically the presets basically. Or let's say maybe if I, if I want to use this one, just right click, go to apply grade and I'll just apply the, the nodes onto my clip. So let's say if I just undo it to the original color grades. So if I want to save this as a preset, I'll just right click and go to grab still. And as you can see, you just add this still to like the power grade folder. And now it's basically a preset that you can use in any clips in any project. If you want to be more organized, you can, you know, right click here and add a power grade album. So as you can see now it's empty right now. So you can just right click, grab still, and you just add this grade as a preset. So now let's go to another project and see how we can copy it over. Okay, so now I've opened up a new project and as you can see there are a few clips in our timeline. So this clip right here, I haven't actually done any color grades to it. So let's use our saved preset or power grade. Go to the gallery tab, go to the power grade 2 folder and as you can see that's our uh, preset that we've saved. Just right click, go to apply grade and it will just copy over all the nodes that we've done previously and that's before, that's the after. So now you can basically use this preset on any project that you want. Okay, that's the first method. Have, let's have a quick look at the, uh, the second method. Oh, and quickly, if you want to name it, you can right click and just go to uh, change label and just, you know, name it whatever you want, maybe test or something. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the second method. So we go, uh, let me just delete this to go to the original without any color grading done to it. If we go to the edit tab or edit page, and you can see that's my timeline. And in the media pool, we can see it. this is the timeline right here. So if I right click on the timeline and go to the timelines, uh, color trace and color trace from timeline, uh, this little box pop up. So in here, we can select basically the project that we want to copy the color grade from. So I open my local uh, database, go to the guest, and these are all the projects in DaVinci Resolve that I've done. So I'll just open up, let's say this project. In this project, there's one timeline. So I'll just open up this timeline. And this box, little box will pop up. Uh, I apologize for it going kind of out, off the screen. <laughs> um, if we go and select the manual mode, and we just wait a little bit. As you can see right now, basically, the bottom clips here are the uh, the clips of the our current project we are working on, and the top clip is basically the clips from the uh, the timeline or the other project that we've opened up. So basically, as you can see here, this is the clip that basically initially we copied the the grade from. So let's say you want to copy the grade from this clip down to the project we're working on onto this clip, which is the the lady walking in front of the window. We can just select this clip and then select this clip. And here you can select what you're going to copy over. So if you've done any power window, any tracking or anything, you can choose whether to copy that kind of that aspect of the grade over as well. So right now I've ticked basically everything. And once we're happy, we just go to paste and just wait a little while and okay, that's finished. Now we go to the color page. We can see that all the grades from that other clip is now copied onto this clip right here. Now the advantage of doing it this way, you might say, oh, it's a bit like kind of complicated. But sometimes if you have multiple different grades that you want to copy over, this method might be faster. So for example, let's open up the window again, timeline, color trace, color trace from timeline, and open up the other project, uh, here, timeline. So let's say we have like, um, let's say we have 10 or 12 or 20 different color grades we want to copy over. Uh, if you want to go and save each and every single one as like a preset, it can take 
can, could be kind of a bit time consuming and also you might not necessarily want to save those presets to use for like forever you might not like it that much but you just want to copy it over this one time for this certain project so if you do it this way you can just okay copy this clip to this clip click paste and copy this one to this one click paste copy this one to this one click paste so obviously this method will be much faster than the other one as saving them as presets also, there's like, um, I assume there's an automatic method, although I must admit I have never used this yet, whereby sometimes in different projects, you might actually be using the same video clip. So I guess this, um, this function can kind of automatically detect if you're having the same kind of clip in multiple projects and basically sync the color grade automatically. So you don't have to always just like, you know, copy it over manually one by one and save you time that way. Although, as I said, I've never actually used this function before, so I'm <laughs> not sure if it worked correctly, you know, as some things are buggy sometimes, as like exporting XML from Premiere Pro, for example, but that's another <laughs> different, totally different topic. So yeah, so that's basically two quick ways to copy color grades between um, different projects in DaVinci Resolve, which uh, I think some people have uh, asked like uh, how, do, how do you do it because they try to copy and just paste it uh, when they change project and it's not kind of working too well. So I hope this kind of answered the question and well, save you time in your work basically. Um, yeah, I guess, that, I guess that's it for today and uh, bye. <laughs>